Hope you all are doing well. I am Professor Megha Nair from Patagala College of Commerce and Management. And today we will be learning about consumer decision making process. So do you see the small cartoon strip in the box? What does it say? There is a lady asking the psychiatrist if he has determined what motivates the consumer. This simple question actually sums up the essence of consumer behavior. We study consumer behavior in order to identify the needs, wants and desires of a consumer, their likes, dislikes, spending patterns and reason to buy something so that the marketers, which are us, exactly know how to target and what to target them with so that their pockets in lieu of the products they sp products or services that are being offered to them gets lightened. And do you know what the biggest challenge is for a marketer? Yes, every single consumer is different. So mapping them is no easy task. Okay, now do you remember the first rule in marketing? The rule is you cannot satisfy everybody or every consumer in the market. Therefore, what do you do? Do you leave them to fend for themselves? No, you have to guide them. If not everybody, then at least we have to guide most of them towards my product. That is the job of a marketer. And to understand who will be the population or the people included in this most, we study consumer behavior as it helps the marketers to understand consumers better. Moving on, let's see the definition. Engel et al. 1995 defined consumer behavior as those acts of individuals directly involved in obtaining using and disposing of economic goods and services, including the decision process that proceeds and determines those act. So if we simply scrutinize it, it speaks of acts as in decisions or thought processes of individuals that is consumers to buy, use and throw economic goods and services. That means they pay for the goods and services. Now to perform these acts of buying and all, they have to go through a process to help them make this decision. Once they do it, it helps us marketers to get answer for the rhetorical questions. What do the consumers buy? That is, it helps us identify their interests. Why do they buy it? That is, we help, they help us to identify their own wants, needs and desires and also helps us identify if we can create a need for them. When do they buy it? Where do they buy it? Is it shops? Is it online? Is it TV marketing or home marketing? How do they purchase it? Then. How do they buy it? Do they buy it using cash, card, vouchers, gift coupons, e-wallets, the mode of payments? How often do they buy it? This question is necessary to deem if the consumer is brand loyal or not and also to assess the consumption pattern of our consumers. Now, once these rhetorics are answered, it becomes easy for us marketers to identify what type of consumers can we attract towards us so that our products and services help them with their wants, needs or desires. Now, there are five main buying roles. Let's see the first one, the initiator. The person who decides to start the process, process as in the decision making process. 
if we see with an example over here a small child let's say tells his parents he wants a remote controlled toy car for his birthday in such a case he is the initiator the next is the influencer the person who convinces others that they need the product in this case the child is influencing or trying to influence his parents that he wants a remote controlled toy car but if you see the back end who is the person that has influenced the child for that particular toy car well it can be some ad on the television or he may have seen it with some of his friends or he may have seen it in the window shops or in some mall now as a marketer it is our job to influence them to buy our goods and services the next one is the decider the person who makes the final decision now the decider can be the parents the grandparents or relatives who will decide if it is necessary to buy that toy car for him now they will also be the buyers since the child is not the one who will empty his pockets it will be his parents or grandparents or whoever decides to gift him that particular remote controlled toy car because they will be the one who will pay for the product or service and the last one obviously the user and there is no question but in our case the end user is of course the child because he will be the one playing with it so i hope you understand this simple example and also understand the five main buying roles we move on to the main part of the story that is the consumer decision making process if you see there are five stages in the consumer decision making process the first one is problem recognition which can also be called as need recognition in this stage generally the consumer identifies their need want or desire to obtain and use a product or service the second stage is the information search so i after uh, the consumer identifies its needs they will try and gain information of where the product or service is available when can they get it what are the options available so on and so forth the third option or the third stage is the evaluation of alternatives now in this stage the consumer analyzes the multiple options that are available in the market and decides on what he or she wants to choose the fourth stage is the purchase decision wherein the consumer actually buys the product or service he or she wanted the fifth stage is the post post purchase evaluation so after the consumer buys the product or service they will use it and give feedback now feedback can be in any form and to anyone not necessary to the brand or the marketer that has influenced them to buy the product now to understand the consumer decision making process better we will study it so now let's say nena works as a consultant in an it firm she is this nice and hard working girl and who has enough money as salary she wishes to buy a new mobile phone since her current one has a broken screen so it's completely gone and she decides that rather than repairing it let's just buy a new one now let's see her decision making process so the first one problem recognition Nena wants a new phone since her current one has a broken screen and as i told you she is not interested in repairing it but she wants to buy a new one so the next stage that is the information search she talks to some friends 
about buying a new one asks for their opinions or she can also go online and read reviews of certain mobile phones or their brands or the new models or the new gadgets that are available in the market or she can also ask her parents relatives anybody whom she feels can help her in her decision third is evaluation of alternatives so she goes online or to a few shops to compare the various brands the features the models that are available the prices offered whether they are within her budget outside her budget what does she want that comes under evaluation of alternatives the fourth one or is the purchase decision so finally after going through multiple options and multiple choices available she zeroes in on one particular brand maybe with some specific uh, set of features and also sees that this is well within her budget and she chooses or you can say buys that particular brand of phone now the last stage which is the post purchase evaluation so after you purchase a phone generally the general tendency is to flaunt it in front of everybody oh i have a new phone oh it has so and so features it is simply to make you feel good that is one thing but also it is necessary that once you buy a particular product and once you start using it you will also tend to give feedback to your maybe parents or friends or relatives in some or the other form so a post purchase evaluation involves using of the product and actually seeing for yourself how that particular product or service works so with the help of this example hopefully you have understood what a consumer thinks of when he or she has to go through a consumer decision making process in order to buy a product or a service my video and my presentation if you all have any doubts or any queries you can get back to me on my email id and i thank you so much for your patience thank you